I'm Skylar, and I'm here in LA for the first time hanging with Poplitz. Great to finally meet you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been like two years since we featured you as a new artist of the week. That's right. So what have you been up to? Just a little brief synopsis of the past two years. Uh, last couple of years, uh, I got a, a new band playing with me. I've been playing a ton of shows, going out on tour with Rookie of the Year uh, in November. Uh, recorded a bunch of new music and uh, getting ready to release some new stuff for you. Awesome. And what are you doing in L.A.? In L.A., I'm here recording even more new music. Great. So what have you done so far since you've been here? Just record all the time? or? Since I've been here, uh, I've written a couple more songs and uh, started recording some stuff that I think you're going to love. And now you're in Hollywood. And now I'm in Hollywood. This is awesome. For the first time. That's right. That's right. So right, we're going right, to have to... Right near the, the Jimmy Kimmel Studios, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> Sorry they're not taping tonight, though. Oh, well. We're going to have to get you to go to the... Can't, the, what do you call it, the Chinese Ramen Theater and the Walk of Fame. Definitely. And do the tour, total touristy stuff. Definitely. While you're here. So, um, I know you've got a big tour coming up, your first real tour, you said, with Rookie of the Year. How excited are you for that? I'm wicked excited. Uh, it's going to be really fun. We start in Georgia, head down to Florida, and then go all the way up the East Coast. Uh, and then I get to go back home just in time for Thanksgiving, so it's perfect. Nice, nice. And that starts up next week, next month, in a few that's, weeks, right? That's right. And what are you most looking forward to? Uh, on the tour, I'm most looking forward to uh, just getting to play every single day to new audiences in cities that I've never visited before. And have you been a big fan of Rookie of the Year? I love Rookie of the Year. Ryan's a good friend of mine, uh, and I was so excited when he asked me to come on tour with him. And I also read something really cool that I saw on your website. You had been playing at this little venue called Sad Cafe for many years, and I read that you wound up canceling your show because they got rid of the employee that had been helping you for all these years. And not that's only right. that, but you turned around and you did a thank you show just for her. That's right, that's right, we did. Um, Linda had been running the Sad Cafe since it opened 15 years ago, um, and it, uh, just I think about a week before we were supposed to play there for their 15th anniversary concert, they fired her. And so she's really the only reason that I kept on coming back after all these years. And so, uh, you know, to say thank you, instead we did a show in Boston uh, and dedicated it to her. And uh, I think it really meant a lot to her because she's meant a lot to us. Yeah, how did that go over? Was she totally surprised? She was very surprised, uh, and I'm just wishing her the best with uh, whatever comes next for her. I just think that's really sweet. So we're going to play a little game just to get you hyped up for the tour. Okay. So are you ready? All right, let's do it. Okay, this is going to be like the top three in each category. Top so three. top three must-haves on the road. Top three must-haves on the road. Uh, you know, besides my guitar and everything. That's a given. No, that's a given. All right, uh, I got to have my, my necklace. Um, I got to have my iPod. Uh, I know, I still use an iPod. Um, and I have to have um, my uh, peanut butter. Because that's how I survive on the road. It's peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. Creamy, smooth, chunky? Uh, I prefer chunky, but when you have to have it every single day, creamy is just better. It's, it's just, yeah, it's just good. All right. What about top three uh, mementos from home? What do you have to have? Top three mementos from home. Oh, man. Um, well, my, my biggest mementos are, uh, are really my guitars. Uh, one of them is my dad's that he bought right after I was born and he handed down to me when I was 16. So, uh, you know, that's, that's really where it stops. It's just the guitars have to be good. Top three songs to perform? Top three songs to perform. Stephanie is number one for me. Uh, a brand new song of mine called You Don't Have to Go, which you can see on uh, on YouTube and will be released on iTunes soon. And number three, oh man, it keeps changing, but probably uh, my Ed Sheeran mashup that I do. Favorite places to stop to eat? Um, well, if there's Udo's, I always stop at Udo's. Um, if there is a, you know, Panera, you know, Panera's always good, but for me, Number one, I always stop there on the road if there is one. Uh, Red Robin. Love me some Red Robin. How about top three snacks on the bus? Or in top, the car? Top three snacks on the road. Um, 
Well, I gotta have my peanut butter. Uh, you know, and it, that just sort of goes just on plain everything. plain or? Well, peanut butter on apples, peanut butter on bananas, peanut butter on rice cakes with, uh, like raisins. It's all good. All good. It's got peanut butter on the website. What else? Top three cities that you want to visit? Top three cities that I want to visit. Um, I don't know, I really want to go to London. London sounds good. I've been to a lot of places in the United States, so if I can go outside of the United States, London, uh, Berlin, and Copenhagen. Okay. Top three artists to listen to. Top three artists to listen to. Uh, Matt Nathanson, Bruce Springsteen, and Taylor Swift. A nice mix there. And top three show rituals. Top three show rituals. Um, well, first, I, uh, you know, go around talking to everybody, and then right before I go on, I center myself, you know, get all the energy inside of me, and then right before I go on, right off stage, you'll see me just jumping up and down. So I, I do a lot of jumping. Nice. Okay, well that's it for the game. Just a few more questions. Halloween's right around the corner. Do you have any special plans? Are you going to dress up this year? Yes. Uh, we're doing, uh, I'm going to be at the Northeast NACA conference in Hartford, Connecticut uh, with my booking agency that, you know, that represents me. And so we're doing a themed uh, you know, Halloween costume and we're going to be the Power Rangers. So I'm the Blue Ranger. Nice. The original Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Nice. And what else do you have in store for this year? What can fans look forward to? Uh, this year, um, well, you'll be able to get uh, some new music from me. Um, there should be uh, a new video out, and when I get back to Boston, uh, we're going to start working on a Christmas song. Cool. Well, it was great chatting with you. Thanks for having me.